McGovern. And I'm Lady Red Tour. And you're watching Ask K-Queen, where you send us your burning questions from Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit, and we do our very best to answer them in the best way we know how. We've been through a lot of shit, so we want to make the shit we've been through work for you. Right, Lady Red? <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> All right. Let's start it off with a video question from one of our mystery celebrity guests. Ooh. Ask Hey queen Hi, Johnny and Lady Red. My name's Julie. And I have a question. So, what I want to know is, should I bleach my asshole for my boyfriend's birthday? Wow, Julie, thank you for that question. Uh, I have never, I don't have a lot of experience with asshole bleaching, but I can say that if someone wanted to bleach their asshole for me as a gift, and that meaning I see their asshole on a regular basis and it wasn't already showroom new, which most of the ones I deal with are, um, I think that would be a lovely gift. Lady Red? Are you still having trouble grasping the concept of bleaching an asshole? I, I put bleach everywhere in the kitchen, in the restroom, in, in your... Uh, this is new for me. Um, yes. It's a white people thing, bleaching your asshole, I think. I, I mean, I like a black <laughs> hole, honey. Give well, it to exactly. me. Well, exactly. I like a black hole. Well, if hole, the whole so. area around the hole is already brown, there's no reason to bleach. I mean, right is right, no matter what color. And usually the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah. If you want to bleach it, baby, like, okay. I guess the pain is the gain, right? I, well, I don't know if it hurts, but uh, it probably makes your asshole look showroom new. So why <laughs> not? Please, you has to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Go Clorox at the end, bitch. Don't do. Don't try it at home. Don't try to self bleach your asshole. Okay. <laughs> do okay. it. Do it. Lady Red, that's terrible no, advice. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's go to another question. Let's see what people are asking this week. At Caleb Willow wants to know, how do I get my boyfriend to love me more than he does his cat? Uh, Lady Red, go ahead. Oh, shit. All right. Tell him, girlfriend. Tell him. Let me explain something to you. If a person loves their cat and animan more than they love you, it's time to take a freaking break, okay? Break, it's time to break the relationship because absence makes the heart grow fonder. And if you're okay with somebody rubbing you and stroking you like they cat or putting their cat over you, I mean, that's a whole, that's just, okay, whatever. But I don't know, because I don't have people who like animals more than they like me. You understand what I'm saying? If you kissing a cat in the mouth, we can't kiss no more. I like that you made up a word for animal called animin. They animin, honey. <laughs> they animin. They unpredictable. You don't know. Yeah, I've seen so many people who have cats and stuff get scratched in the mouth or mm. poop in their shoes mm. or poop on their pillow because mm -hmm. the animin is mad at them. Mm -hmm. That don't make sense. They ain't earning nothing. They ain't burning nothing. So, like, if you want a uh, girl, Peter. Okay, I can't do it. Girl, Peter. There has <laughs> never been a better answer to a question. I cannot. Girl, Peter. <laughs> Peter. Uh, if your man up. loves his cat more than you, you're dating the wrong right. man. Right. You obviously are dating a man who loves pussy more than dick, <laughs> and that is a problem. That's the okay. Thing. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> Here's another question from Reddit. Hi, Reddit. At my name's Abby wants to know, I'm a bisexual female. However, I fancy and find interest in only gay drag queens. What can I do? They're so delicious in and out of drag and it's playing with my bisexual head. How do I overcome this? Or do you know any straight drag queens I could hook up with? Well, Dame Edna is already married. So that's the only straight drag queen I've ever heard of. <laughs> so you should out of luck as far as that. Uh, in my opinion, I think you've hit the jackpot. If you're bisexual and you like drag queens, that's the perfect thing that you could like because they give you the masculine and the feminine. You can have both things. It's like a, a combo from McDonald's. 
It's like it's like getting a, a like a, a if you like a, a hamburger and a McChicken and someone pushed them together to make a Mick double chicken sandwich, you got it. <laughs> That's what a drag queen will give you because they can get out of drag and be the man for you. They can get in drag and be the woman for you. Now, if you're looking for a pussy, you shit out of luck. But <laughs> uh, you know they got a pussy in the back, so you know. Strap it on and work it out. I think you're already there. No need to get any advice from us. You've done it. Go for it. Drag queens will like it. Now, whether they're going to like you is the thing. You probably need to find yourself a bisexual drag queen. Mm. But on your end, you're good. Mm -hmm. There's got to be some bisexual drag queens. Everybody's fluid these days. Okay. Or just, you know, keep everything separate and you'll be fine. It's like, you know, everything don't have to be a salad of your life. You don't have to mix this with that with this with this. You have your boyfriend, then you got your good Judy that you go out with, then you got her male side that you go out with. Keep everything separate and you'll be okay. It's when you start trying to blend too much and stick stuff in places that don't fit, then you just become a fag hat who's thirsty for a man. And you don't want to do that. Don't. Because like my song says, don't fall in love with a homo. No, no don't do it, baby. No, no. No. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether we answered that question, but, you know, good luck. <laughs> uh, let's take another celebrity video question and see who's asking us what. Mm. Ask Hey Queen. Hi, Johnny. It's Aggie. I've always wondered, when was the first time that you took a dump on someone's chest? Uh, the answer is... Uh, Never, darling. I'm not into scat play. And, you know, no disrespect to those who are, but that is not for me. That's for the bathroom, and I would certainly never do it on anybody's chest. If that's your thing, Aggie, congratulations. I'm sure there's a Craigslist ad with your name on it right out there. But it ain't for me. Lady Red, I know you love to scat. Yeah, uh, that's it. Not, that. um, <laughs> Not the other guy. Listen, if you're taking stuff out the toilet and putting it in your own sexual life, you got a lot of problems. We do love you, you sick, twisted bitch. And everybody knows you're not supposed to take the dump on their chest. You're supposed to have them sit underneath a glass table and then take a dump on that. <laughs> All right. Well, that ends uh, this episode of Ask Hey Queen. It was a real Whoa. shitty episode. Oh, my God. These questions, Jesus. If you have a non-scatological question you would like us to answer, <laughs> send it to askheyqueen at gmail.com and we'll do our best to put our knowledge to work for you. Or we might just think your question's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Ask Hey Queen. We'll see you next week, baby. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>